Natural light, is it important? Of course it is. I know, I know, we can't always get as many windows as we want and sometimes you can find yourself surrounded by walls. Truth is, people have adapted and gotten used to sunlight, so there's nothing sadder than a room without any natural light coming inside. In today's video, I'll tell you how to get the best out of those sources of light, the importance of it, how to let it in our spaces in the right amount, and how to elevate the quality of your room using just your windows. If you like our content, don't hesitate and hit the subscribe button. This way you'll always know when there's a new video. I'm Patricia and this is the Designer 101. Since 2020, we saw how the world panicked about the most recent pandemic and with it came the lockdowns. Oh, those dreadful lockdowns which shatter our daily routines and also our daily sunlight intake. A lot of people got really, really depressed of it and no surprise there. The lack of sunlight can affect our mood, our immune system and sometimes our sense of community. Even the doctors agree with the sun, like Dr. Berg. And that would be get more sun, not to the point where you're burnt, but just exposure to light. The absence of sunlight or natural light can cause havoc in our lives. This is the main reason why architects almost always fight to death to add more windows. They teach this in universities. No matter where you live in the world, you always need to control the sunlight, whether you live in a super sunny place such as Africa or Central America, where you need to keep the sun at bay, or if you live in a Nordic country such as Finland, you'll need to let as much sunlight as possible inside your house. The message is clear, sunlight. Having said all that, sunlight can be tricky. You definitely want to let it in, but you always need to control it. This is the main purpose of windows, blinds, curtains, and why not blackouts? So let's start with the basics. If you have windows towards the east, use them vastly open. This will let healthy and fresh sunlight enter in the mornings. On the other hand, if you have window facing west, you might want to protect them somehow. Our best recommendation is with curtains as they are aesthetically pleasant and are available in so many patterns and colors. You can also use any method you want, blinds, shutters, blackouts, or go extreme as some people do and add polarizing film to your windows. With this option, you can also control the amount of light that will enter the room However, you'll get that same weird vibe like the interior of your car has. A bit artificial, but like I said, everything goes when protecting against the sun. In our previous episode, we talked about mirrors and how they could improve the amount of light in a poorly lit room. This time, we'll talk about how to manage the light that is coming inside but without losing too much sunlight. When it comes to sunlight, it is inevitable to talk about windows, skylights, louvers, or any other means that allows us to control the view, the air, and of course, the light. The more view, the more air, and the more light you let in, the better. So if you're still thinking of demolishing part of that wall down in order to make a room for a couple more windows, just do it. Open those empty walls and put as many windows as you like. Trust me, it will be so worth it, and as it is in real life, excess too can be harmful. There is such thing as too lighted room. This happens especially when we have skylights, louvers. This method has proven long and strong to be one of the most trusted in order to control the amount of sunlight. You just need to adjust the louvers angle to avoid the light in a certain hour of the day. They are installed on exteriors and are great at handling whatever amount of sunlight that hits them. They can be made out of wood, metal, or even plastic. The problem with this is that it could be a bit expensive and it definitely needs 
specialize in installation or fabrication. As with louvers, curtains can completely neutralize the sunlight or create a very distinct ambience in a room because most of them are made of fabric. The light will bounce in a very soft and diffused manner that will create a sense of calm and relaxed mood. As a side note, keep in mind that now curtains can be blackouts too. They work wonders when you're trying to sleep during the daytime but the sunlight won't let you. Consider investing in some blackout curtains when having a baby, as we mentioned in our videos about nurseries. Check them out. Just like curtains, rollers are great automatic or manual options. They work wonders in offices, but also in homes. It's a clean option, and if you're not the kind of person who's not crazy about curtains, this might be your thing. Rollers can be placed hidden in the ceiling just like curtains and you can also choose the amount of transparency and opacity to them. Polarizing film to your windows. This option is becoming more and more popular among homeowners just because they are very low maintenance. They offer extremely clean solutions and they are the only option beside louvers for those of you who aren't fond of curtains or rollers altogether. This might just work for you, plus just like rollers, you can choose the amount of transparency needed and the amount of reflectiveness the people from outside your room will see. So no matter the method to control the amount of sunlight you use, the important here is to understand that you can take the control and adjust the light at your convenience. So tell me, did we miss any other method of control? Tell me in the comments. You can also watch this video about mirrors, their uses and perks. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you like the video. If you want to get notified whenever there's a new video, go ahead and click on the bell next to the subscribe button. It's always great to see you guys. See you next time.